Everyone get your binoculars up. Take a look around the cabin the way it is now. All right, now close up your binoculars so that you can't see anything out of your eyes. Everybody hear the sound? Yeah. Point those closed binoculars at this sound. Yeah, what else do you see in there? That's Wait. Fine. Keep it in your minds. Now, if you know what you see, hold out your hand on the table. If you're still thinking about it and you're not sure, you can take another look over there. Okay, everyone close your eyes. I'm going to give you a hint in case there's some, some people still thinking about it. All right, tell me what you felt. Open your eyes. Something very soft. Something soft? What did you feel? A feather. A feather. Yeah, you felt a feather. So the feather was a hint for what you see in this window. We traveled back in time to win. What kind of people are there here? Native Americans. Native Americans, yeah. And what I showed you was a feather because the Native Americans believe that their dreams and their wishes are held in feathers. So we traveled back to before any white settlers came or any explorers came to when the Native Americans lived here. And what kind of boat are they in? Yeah, you said being a Okay, great. So uh, put your binoculars back on. Take one last look at that Native American. And close up your binoculars. All right, we've gone through time again. Now slowly open up your binoculars. And tell me what you see in the second window. Sailboat. Sailboat, yeah. Does anyone know what sailboat that is? Hudson. Who's? Henry Hudson. Henry Hudson sailboat. Yeah, who's Henry Hudson? Didn't he explore the, uh, the river before it was called the Hudson River? You're right. He was the first, ex the first uh, European explorer to come. And do you know what he was looking for? Oh, I'll give you a hint. Everybody close your eyes. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. What did you smell? Spices. Spices, spices yeah. <laughs> so this is what Henry Hudson was looking for. He was looking for spices. And why would he have come up the river looking for spices? Because he thought he could get to the east from here. Yeah, so in 1609, he came up the river looking for what's called the Northwest Passage. And it was going to lead him to India and, and you know, it'd lead him to Asia, where he could get spices. And did he find it? No. No, the Hudson River ended up being a dead end for him. But he found a lot of other cool stuff. In the first one we saw a sun, what did we see in the second one? It's a moon. A moon, yeah. And that's a hint for the name of Henry Hudson's boat. Does anyone know the name of Henry Hudson's boat? Moon. Mm. <laughs> the half moon. The half moon, yeah. So Henry Hudson sailed up on the half moon. All right, now take one last look at Henry Hudson's boat in your binoculars. And now close up your time travel binoculars. And slowly open them. And tell me what you see over here. A sailboat. A sailboat, yeah. We've traveled through time to when the river had this kind of sailboat. Does anyone know what kind of boat this is? It's the blue, clear water. Yeah, it looks just like the clear water, right? <laughs> like the boat we're on today. That's because the clear water is a replica of the Hudson River sloops that used to sail on the river during the 1800s. And this, uh, this sloop, you would have been used for cargo. So all the space around us that we're sleeping in would have actually been storage for all different kinds of things. This is a list of the things that might have been on the boat going upriver, so starting in the city. We would have filled the boat with, uh, Nick, can you read a couple things after here? Four pounds of red lead, one barrel of salt pork, 20 pounds of pepper. Yeah, so these are all things that would have come maybe from Europe or beyond to the New York Harbor and then would have been loaded up on all these sloops like the one that we're in. All this space would have been filled with stuff. And they, come, they would sail upriver, where they would empty it empty the boat and then fill it up with all the things that you can get from New York. 
Uh, can someone else read some of the things here? 243 barrels of flour and 18 barrels of corn. Yeah. And a horse in a chair. And a horse in a chair. <laughs> <laughs> so the things that came downriver from, um, from New York on the sloops would have been raw materials, and the things going upriver would have been more manufactured things coming from either the city or beyond. And I have a couple of items that might have come on the sloops. What's that? Ice? Yeah. They would cut um, frozen river water and then load it on deck and bring it down to the city for ice. And what's that? It's like a uh, brick. Yeah, brick is another thing that they would load down the sloops with and carry down the river. All right. So the river would have been full of sloops like this. Let's take one last look at that sloop. Now close up your binoculars. Slowly open them. What do we see in this window? A steamboat. A steamboat, yeah. Good eye. <laughs> <laughs> so the next form of ship that we would have seen on the Hudson River would be the steamboats. And these were more reliable time-wise because they didn't have to rely on the wind and the currents as much because they had their own propulsion. Um, and they would have burned wood or eventually, what's this? Coal? Yeah, so they would have burnt wood and then coal. Alright, take a last look. This is going to be a big jump. Alright, everybody close up your binoculars. We're going through time. Okay, open them up. And where have we found ourselves now? In a time when, what do we see on the river? Tugboats. Tugboats, yeah. The tug itself is just a little boat with a huge engine that burns diesel. And did you see any tugboats today when we were sailing? Yeah. yeah, a bunch, right? We see these all over the place today. And um, these tugboats pull huge amounts of cargo up and down the river. Okay, take one last look. Okay, now open your binoculars. So here we are back at today. And we have an empty window in the galley. What would you guys put on it if you were going to make the window that showed today? <laughs> <laughs>